Hi, this is Greg from Splicity Aquatics. Today, I'm going to show you how to tune a protein skimmer in four easy steps. These steps apply not only to our Simplicity skimmers, but also to the majority of other skimmers on the market. Let's jump right into it. Step number one, check the water level in the sump and make sure it falls within the manufacturer's recommended range. If the sump water level is too low, the waste may not reach the collection cup. If the water level in the sump is too high, the skimmer is more likely to overflow. For our Simplicity 120DC and 240DC, we recommend six to eight inches of water, which is right around this black ring. For our 320DC, seven to nine inches of water, and for our 540 and 800DC, eight to 10 inches of water. Step number two, if your skimmer pump can change speeds, adjust the speed according to the manufacturer's recommendation. For our Simplicity 120 and 240DC, we recommend 1.4. Our 320, 540, and 800 DC, we recommend full speed, which is 1.20. Step number three, adjust the air bubble quality by adjusting the pump's air intake. The goal is a dense froth of tiny air bubbles, as smaller bubbles are better at removing waste than larger ones. For our simplicity skimmers, we recommend closing the air valve completely and then opening it slightly by turning the adjustment screw approximately 360 degrees. Although it sounds counterintuitive, restricting the pump's air intake actually increases the amount of air entering the skimmer because the pump speeds up. Step number four, adjust the water level by closing or opening the gate valve. For Simplicity Skimmers, we recommend adjusting the water level so the bubble column is at the top of the black ring where the collection cup meets the body. As the skimmer continues to run, the bubbles will naturally rise and break into the collection cup. Once the water level is in a good spot, let the skimmer run for about 15 minutes and then recheck. If the bubble column has risen or fallen, adjust the water level again. Once you've got the water level in a good spot, let it run overnight and check back in the morning as protein skimmers tend to be most active at night. The goal is skimmer waste, which looks like dark tea or coffee and smells awful. If the skimmer waste is light colored, lower the water level. If there's little to no waste in the collection cup, raise the water level. Again, the goal is for the top of the bubble column to be at the black ring where the collection cup meets the body. Patience is key, as it can take multiple attempts to get it dialed in correctly. One final note, new skimmers can take up to two weeks to break in. During this period, it is common for the cup to overflow, which can make a mess inside the stand. If you're concerned about this happening, you can remove the drain cap on the skimmer cup. Doing this will return most of the waste to your tank, however the skimmer won't make such a mess inside the stand. And there you have it. If you have any additional questions or need additional support, please visit simplicityaquatics.com.